June 27th, St. Ladislaus I, King of Hungary. Ladislaus I was the grandson of the cousin of St. Stephen of Hungary and the second son of his father, King Bela. It was with sadness that as a young man he had seen his father ascend the throne, since it was by a war against his father's own brother that he did so. Bela's virtuous son would gladly have escaped the honors of royalty, but his cousin Solomon, the legitimate heir, was cruel and had been driven out by Ladislaus's older brother Giza, who after taking his place had reigned for only three years before his death. The people of Hungary knew of Ladislaus's bravery in combat, his chastity and his sobriety, above all his charity, where everywhere the poor were showing the clothing and the silver he had given them from his own house. He knew many of them by name, and they had named him Pious Prince, for he had built magnificent churches in a land where many still honored the pagan idols. It was with joy that the people chose Ladislaus to replace his brother as King of Hungary. He soon showed himself to be a perfect Christian king by the moderation of his judgments, his affability in receiving even the least of his vassals, his fatherly kindness to all. He restored the good laws and discipline which St. Stephen had established and which seemed to have been obliterated by the confusion of the times. Chastity, meekness, gravity, charity, and piety were from his infancy the distinguishing traits of his character. His life in the palace continued to be very austere. He was very frugal and mortified personally, but very liberal to the church and the poor. Vanity, pleasure, or idle amusements had no share in his actions or time because all his moments were consecrated to the exercises of religion and the duties of his station. He had only the divine will in view, and always sought God's greater honor. Generous and merciful to his enemies, he was vigorous in the defense of his country and church. During his reign, his kingdom was attacked by numerous neighboring peoples. Before going out to repulse them, he always commanded public prayers and a fast of three days. Then, at the head of his armies, fought and was invariably victorious with the help of God, whom he did not cease to implore. He was preparing to depart at the request of the princes of France, Spain, and England as general-in-chief of the 300,000 recruits of the great first crusade of the Christians against the Sarsians for the recovery of the Holy Land, when God called him to himself on July 30th in the year 1095 at the age of 54 years. Miracles were numerous at his tomb, and he was canonized 100 years later in the year 1199. The same day, a small child born without hands and feet was cured by the invocation of St. Ladislaus.